Hey guys, it's me Arlene, Delicious Delights. Today I want to sniff for the very first time some niche perfumes, some sweet niche perfumes. I have three here that I have been looking forward to testing out. First we have one called Santal Sugar and it's from a house called Lorga Parfums. Then we have a Killian scent called Forbidden Games and the last one here is called Harvest Mouse and that one is a new release from Zoologist. So of these, the one that I'm looking forward to the most is probably the Zoologist one so I'll leave that to the very end. And so let's try the, uh, the one from Lorga Parfums called Santal Sugar. I chose this sample because of the name, <laughs> Santal, Sandalwood, and Sugar. It sounds really, really nice. Maybe it's a nice, like, woody gourmand scent. So um, I'll just sniff it, give you guys my quick first impressions, and then rank them just based on my first sniff, which is my favorite, um, to, and also which is my least favorite. Okay, so the imagery that I'm getting here is sparkling white sugar. <laughs> Like there's sugar sitting on a bump or a, a log and there's like big clumps of shiny sparkly sugar crystals. It smells like a unique woody, sweet, earthy, dry scent. The piece of wood is dry and also the sugar crystals have been dried out as well. Hmm. It also feels a little bit warm as well, like a warm and cozy, sweet, woody scent. And yeah, I do like it. I'm not sure if I love it, but right now I do like it. <laughs> okay, so that's Santal Sugar from Lorga Parfums. I'll just quickly pull up the notes here and show you guys the bottle. There it is. All right, so main accords, sweet, fruity, woody, vanilla, powdery, warm, spicy, coconut, tropical, aromatic, and lactonic. The notes listed in the top, lychee and bergamot. Middle notes, raspberry, coconut, and violet. Base notes, sandalwood, tonka bean, and creme brulee. So looking at these notes, sweet gourmand but i'm still thinking of just the sugar crystals uh, standing or sitting on top of a big piece of sandalwood yeah pleasant scent i'm very curious how this one dries down but right now first impression is sugar and woods and a warm cozy feeling it says there's some lactonic accords in here but I'm not smelling that yet, but a lot of times with sandalwood, it does come off creamy and sometimes uh, lactonic as well. So yeah, very curious about this one uh, when I test it out on skin. So that's Santel Sugar from Larga Parfums. Next up, we have the Killian one called Forbidden Games. But let's see here. Let's smell it for the first time. Mmm, that's gorgeous. <laughs> okay, so this, I'm not sure if it's a coincidence, but this to me in the opening smells like a lychee, like from the can. So you have all of that juice in there. We get a sweet, fruity, fresh, almost watery, transparent, fruity scent that's reminding me of lychee. Maybe some other notes as well, maybe some peach or nectarine. Or maybe just like a mixed fruit bowl with some of the syrup, the fruit syrup in there and the fruit juices. But there's definitely, to my nose, a scent that uh, reminds me of lychee. I really like this one. It's delicious, it's juicy, fresh, sweet. Fruity notes smell very realistic to me. And it's delicious. And I like it so far as well. 
This one comes in the white bottle right there. And the main accords, fruity, sweet, rose, honey, vanilla, fresh, white floral, floral and powdery. Released in 2012 and the top notes, peach, apple, plum and cinnamon. Middle notes, Bulgarian rose, jasmine, bourbon, geranium. Base notes, honey, vanilla and apopanax. Okay, so I think I remember saying peach or nectarine. That's what I thought it smelled like, but I'm also smelling some, as I said, lychee. <laughs> it smells so, so yummy. Easy to wear, easy going, fancy, expensive smelling fruity scent. Lovely. The last one here is from uh, zoologist Harvest Mouse. Okay. Hmm. The imagery that I'm getting is I'm standing in the middle of a wheat field. There's a scent in here that's reminding me of like whole grains, a wheat field, maybe some greens as well. Something dry, maybe something hay-like, like bales of hay as well. And I'm thinking of a, a farm, a farmland that harvests grains, <laughs> which makes sense because of the name Harvest Mouse. It already sets a tone for the scent and some imagery. And yeah, I am definitely getting that vibe of being in the farm. There's bales of hay around, there's green grass, a big field full of wheat. Maybe there's like a rice mill nearby. It smells very much like nature. Maybe there's some musk in here as well, but yeah, I think this is nice. There's some sweetness as well. I'm not sure where it's coming from. Maybe vanilla? I don't know. Like a sweet, grainy, dry scent. And I like it as well. <laughs> so I do like all three of these, but I want to know what the notes are in Harvest Mouse. Okay, so here is the bottle and that picture there is just so, so, so cute. <laughs> All right, the main accords are vanilla, amber, herbal, woody, balsamic, aromatic, green, warm, spicy, powdery, and fresh spicy. Released in 2023 and the top notes, chamomile, clove, orange blossom, and bergamot. Middle notes, beer or ale, benzoin, hay, apopanax, davana, or rose oil. Base notes, vanilla, sandalwood, peru balsam, cedar, balsam fir, and oak moss. So yeah, there's some very interesting notes in here. Beer, ale. I'm not sure if I've seen beer as a note in perfumes before. Chamomile, hay, benzoin, oak moss. It's lovely. It's lovely. Yeah, so I cannot wait to try all three of these on my skin. But based on my first impression, first sniff, my favorite would be the Forbidden Games by Killian. It smells so fruity and sweet and fun, but also bougie and classy at the same time. Forbidden Games, first spot. Uh, second fave is the Harvest Mouse. Interesting, unique, sweet, bales of hay, farmland, a big field of wheat, grains. Lovely, lovely scent. And then my least fave, although I still think it's really nice and interesting as well, is the Santal Sugar. Okay, so it's changed a lot. Um, from the opening here. I'm getting this kind of sharp, a sharp woody scent that I'm not sure if I love <laughs> anymore. 
first sniff I really liked it a lot now it has like this sharpness to it still very sweet and sugary yes but there's that woody note that just feels really heavy and dense hmm I don't like it as much as I did in the first sniff but of course I will give it a chance and test it further on skin to see how it dries down and stuff like that so yeah that was my video of discovering some new perfumes new to me perfumes at least uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the video if you've tried any of these scents I would love to hear your opinions on them down in the comments thanks so much for tuning in today and I'll see you guys soon in the next video take care guys bye bye